my name is Devian, and today we're going to be doing a practice to strengthen our intuition. We're going to be radiating awareness to our third eye center. It's this area between the eyebrows but just above and this is where our Agnya Chakra resides. So if you want to strengthen your intuition, please continue watching this video and practicing with me. And if you like this and you want more, please like and subscribe. This helps out the channel a lot. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's start on a seated um, position, any comfortable seat. I usually like to put a block or a cushion underneath my hips to just elevate my hips higher than my knees. And we're going to start off with a meditation and a visualization. So go ahead and close your eyes once you come to a comfortable seat. Let's do palms face up in your lap today. And breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> One more inhale. And sigh it out. <sighs> Begin to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose now. Whatever kind of day you've had, leave that behind and be present to being on your mat today. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Dip your chin just a bit. Noticing where you feel your breath as you keep your eyes closed, roll your eyes towards your third eye center. This is the area in between your eyebrows and just a little above that. And try to do this keeping your eyes closed as you focus on your third eye center I want you to bring to mind something that you'd like to manifest. This could be something tomorrow, later today, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years. Bring to mind something you'd like to manifest in the future and hold this picture at your third eye center as if there's a movie playing on a screen. Notice the details. What are you wearing? Who are you with? How do you feel? Notice as many details as you can. If you need a few more moments, feel free to pause this video here and continue with this visualization. For now, keep this visualization with you as we flow throughout this practice. I'll refer you to this visualization throughout Breathe in your manifestation 
and breathe it out. You can keep your eyes closed here as we continue our practice and as we begin, begin our asana practice or you can gently blink them open. Inhale, lift up your arms towards the ceiling. Exhale to twist to your right. Left hand onto right knee, right arm goes behind you. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to twist deeper. Inhale through center, lift your arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Right hand on left knee. Left hand as a kickstand behind you. Inhale, crown your head reaches towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist further to the left. Inhale through center. Wave your hands down. Remove the block from underneath your hips. And coming into tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Shoulders, hips in one line, neutral spine. Inhale, gaze up. Belly drops, hips up. You can tuck your toes, press into the mat, cow. Exhale to round your spine. Spine reaches towards the ceiling, belly sucks in, chin into chest. Inhale, gaze forward, cow. Exhale to round your spine like a Halloween cat. Pressing into the mat. Coming into neutral spine now. As you lift your right foot and set it in between your hands, tuck your back toes and lift to come back, come, lift it to meet your other foot forward, uh, forward fold. Take a moment here to loosen up your neck. Shaking it no, nodding it yes. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows. Micro bend your knees or bend knees deeply to release your low back. And just taking a moment here as you bend one knee and then the other. Just loosening things up. Release your elbows and start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Coming into Tadasana pose, shoulders stacked over hips, hips stacked over your knees, knees stacked over your ankles. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Clasp your fingers here, except for your pointed finger and cross your thumbs. Soften your shoulders away from your ears and keep your gaze on at your pointed fingers. This is your drishti point, your single point of focus. And I want you to bring your vision, your manifestation at the center. Inhale, reach your, uh, reach your fingers up towards the ceiling, keeping your shoulders soft. As you exhale to fold over your legs, keeping your gaze at your pointed finger on your point of vision. Keeping your gaze, keeping your gaze, and fold over your legs. Inhale to half lift, exhale to fold. We'll do it again just in case you missed it. Inhale, circle your arms down, round and up. Take that hand, mudra, uh, pointed fingers. Keeping your gaze at the pointed fingers as you inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Keeping your gaze at the center. Release your hands. 
release your um, your vision. Keep your knees bent. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, start pulling your arms down, around, and up. Take the hand motion, clasping your fingers except for the pointed finger. Gaze at your single point of focus. Exhale, fold. Release your hands, forward fold. Go ahead and roll it one vertebrae at a time. Hands on your hips. Inhale, step your right foot back at a 45 degree angle, pointed towards the upper right corner of the mat. Bend your front knee and making sure your hips are square to the front. This might mean pressing through your um, back heel so that your, your right hip moves forward in line with the left hip. You might have to lengthen your spine or your stance or widen your stance. Inhale, reach your hands up overhead. Take a breath here. Sending your breath all along your spine. Coming into warrior one pose. Inhale to straighten your front leg. As you exhale to fold over your front leg here, you might want to take your blocks with you, optional. Inhale to half lift, so I'll shorten my stance. Exhale to fold over your front leg. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath for this hamstring stretch. And I want you to repeat the affirmation I see things in all clarity. I see things in all clarity. Inhale to lift up to warrior one. And start to shorten your stance here as we prepare for warrior three. Hands can be overhead or in prayer as you lift your right foot up, away from the floor, towards the ceiling, and your torso tips forward, coming into warrior three. Micro bend the left knee as you drop your right hip, so your hips are in one line as best as possible. We'll be here for one more breath. Inhale, and exhale, step it back. Coming into warrior one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands from the foot. Step your left foot back. Coming into plank pose. Inhale. Exhale to drop your knees and lower down in one straight line. Hands are by the shoulders. Pressing the mat with your hips and the tops of your feet as you lift up into cobra. Exhale to tuck your toes, lower down, hips, your torso ceiling, coming into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet here. Bend one knee at a time. Come to find stillness. Inhale, lift your left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale to step it in between your hands. Dropping your, one second, wrong leg. <laughs> lift up your right, right, um, pedal your feet. Lift up your right leg towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, step it through. Uh, in between your hands, shorten your stance, lift your arms up, warrior one, other side. Make any micro adjustments you might need. This might mean squaring the hips towards the front. 
maybe lengthening your stance or widening the stance. Inhale, lift up your arms, pressing through the back heel. Inhale, exhale, straighten your front knee as you lower down, folding over your front leg pyramid pose. Optional to use the blocks. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold over your front leg. Inhale to lift up, warrior one. You might want to shorten your stance here. And then hands can be raised or in prayer as you lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, as you tip your torso forward, energy shooting out your back heel, micro bend your right knee, lower down your left hip, shoulders away from your ears, energy shooting out your fingertips for a warrior three balance pose. Connect to your breath here to help with the balance. Inhale and exhale, step it back, back into warrior one. Inhale, lower down your hands. Step your right foot back. Lift your hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Dropping your hips as wide as the mat. Big toes touch, lean your hips back. Lower your forehead onto the mat or a block. I like to use a block for this one. And you can close your eyes in child's pose. As you rock your forehead side to side, massaging your forehead, massaging your third eye center. Tune inward here. Connecting to your intuition. Come to find stillness when you're done massaging your forehead. And I want you to visualize, come back to your visualization, your manifestation that you set at the beginning of the practice. And think about in your head what is one small step, one small action that you can take right away after this practice? What is the one small action, think of it as a baby step that you can take that will move you in the direction of your manifestation, your vision. Again, you can pause the video as if you'd like to think about this further. If you thought of it, Go ahead and breathe in your manifestation through your nose. And as you sigh it out, visualize the universe taking care of it for you. Inhale your vision. And exhale, sigh it out, release it out into the universe. 
One more breath, inhale. Exhale, having trust in the universe. Go ahead and press into your palms as you lift up, removing the block from away from you if you use one. And come into, come to lay on your back now. Find any way to get there to transition gently. Keeping the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale to lift your left leg and cross your left leg over your right, grabbing either the shins or your ankles. And bending, keeping your feet flexed. We're in eagle legs. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze in your knees towards your chest, pulling your ankles closer to your body, feeling an outer hip stretch. And start to close your eyes here and just tune inward to the sensations. And release your legs and switch sides, right leg over the left, grabbing your ankles or your shins, feet are flexed. One more breath. Release the crossed legs and release your legs down to the mat, allowing them, the feet to flop open, palms can be faced up, right next to you, shoulders away from your ears, close your eyes, release the tension from your jaw. And I want you I want to leave you with a final affirmation as you, as you, you lay in Shavasana. I can manifest my vision. I can manifest my vision. We'll be here in Shavasana in silence for 10 breaths. If you'd like to lay in Shavasana for a longer time period, go ahead and pause the video and lay here as long as you'd like. Once you feel ready, you can start to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Shake your head side to side, make circles with your ankles and your wrists. Arms outstretched above you for a big morning stretch. <sighs> Bend one knee at a time. Give yourself a hug. And roll on over to your right side. 
keeping your eyes closed, taking a breath here. Start to um, push yourself up to a seat. Hands can be in prayer at your heart or in your lap. And just acknowledge yourself for coming to your mat today and taking this practice to help with your intuition and your manifestations. Just sending gratitude for yourself. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. Sending you love and light. So if you'd like this practice, go ahead and if you'd like, share what you manifested or what your, your vision is down in the comments below. Thank you for sharing and I'll see you in the next video.